Hey there guys, welcome to Anthony Reviews, where Anthony reviews. And today we are going to be doing what is essentially a yearly thing. If you watch my Anthony Vlogs channel, you'll know it as a yearly thing, but starting now it's going to be on this channel because it's very toy focused and uh, it's really nice that it's coinciding with the New York Toy Fair. We are going to be doing a collection tour of the apartment. Uh, so this is all of my action figures collectibles, all of my girlfriend's action figure collectibles. We're going to be seeing some DC, Marvel, Transformers, uh, wrestling, uh, Power Rangers, all sorts of stuff. So uh, hope you're excited and let's just uh, let's get into it, shall we? All right, so here's a look at the apartment as you enter it here. Uh, there's Ray over in the corner. What are you reading? Uh, the Return of Wolverine. Return of Wolverine. That's yeah. a... A comic I hope you enjoy while we do this little tour here uh, I guess the first stop is going to be the little media center I guess which is what you would call it so we've got our TV and a bunch of action figures because the place is overflowing with action figures so we have to put it by the TV we've got uh, Superman and Batman standing guard next to the big TV here and then uh, moving down we've got uh, some Green Goblin related stuff so we've got the uh, figure, and then a uh, little push pop. And then here we've got some of the vintage wave. This is as of this recording, you know, this is two waves in. We should be getting some more from the sounds of it. Um, I like these figures. Uh, I don't think any of these are like my favorite figures, but I like that we have them. They're nice to just have together as a vintage collection. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool that way. And then over here, we've got some Lex Luthor action. I've had this Lex Luthor figure for a while. And uh, just a you know, big fan of the uh, bald, rich, and intellectual. I don't know. It's got a nice color scheme. Uh, moving down here, we've got some uh, just some random figures that I've had for a long time. So we've got Robocop and Lion O from the 2011 show, and a uh, White Ranger figure there, which is pretty cool. Moving here, we've got all of my wrestling related figures. Well, not all of them, you'll see some other ones, but uh, this is the main bulk of the wrestling figures. Uh, so we've got the Fashion Police back there, Breezango. Uh, we've got Chris Jericho, Kevin Owens, uh, Elias. I'm not going to name all the figures. That would be a very long video. But, you know, I've got some some recent figures, some older figures, kind of. It's a, it's a nice lot here. There's some different titles that have come with figures. And then some other, I guess, older figures. Probably the oldest of the, the collection here. And then a Sheamus pop. Because when I got into wrestling, Sheamus was one of my favorite wrestlers. So he has a pop, so I figured why not. And then over here, we've got uh, my only Dragon Ball <laughs> related stuff in the apartment, which is this Gohan and Piccolo because they're my favorite characters. I really like the uh, relationship between the two, so that's why I have these two here. Yeah, so that's that. That's all the, the action figure related content on this side. Moving on over here, we've got the main bulk. You know, this is this is what you see when you first come into the apartment. A lot of people, you know, like delivery people will be like, oh, wow, that's, that's cool. Uh, not always, though. Sometimes there are adults that kind of, I'm sure they're judging. But uh, let's go ahead and start with these DC figures here. These are all DC Universe Classics figures. Um, I'm a big fan of that Mattel line. You know, it's kind of sad to know that Mattel is ending their license and they're no longer going to be producing the six-inch DC figures, but I'm excited to see what McFarland does. I'm looking forward to it, uh, but I'll always have, no matter what, I'll always have a soft spot in my heart for uh, this stuff here. So Justice League characters, we've got kind of our main seven up top, and then, uh, you know, some, some other versions of Justice League and international and sort of like some modern or not modern anymore, but at the time, <laughs> I guess, certain periods, uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm saying, but Justice League characters looks pretty great. And then moving down here, we've got some other DC Universe Classics groups. So as of right here, we've got some Teen Titans characters. So we've got, you know, the main lot that everyone always thinks about right here. And then, you know, you've got some other, other ones that are considered Titans characters as well. And then kind of bleeding over, you know, we've got Deathstroke kind of branching from the Titans stuff over to my villains, Legion of Doom kind of thing here. Uh, a lot of cool figures. I like this group quite a bit. Looks really good. They look really menacing. Uh, I don't know what to say. They just, they just look cool. <laughs> over here, we've got my Lantern Corps. Um, this is the only part of the section, or, or I guess 
uh, part of the collection here that doesn't feature exclusive Mattel figures. So for example, that White Lantern Dead Man back there and the Indigo figure right there, uh, those are from DC Direct because they never released, Mattel never released uh, characters like that. Well, they released a Dead Man, but not like a Brightest Day White Lantern Dead Man. They just released like a regular Dead Man figure. Either way, you guys know I'm a big fan of the Lanterns, so uh, I gotta have that there. Moving down, we've got the Superman and Batman related characters. So we've got the Death and uh, you know Rain characters here. So we've got all, all your favorites. Uh, just you know, saw that recent animated movie, and uh, it, was, it was enjoyable. It was a good time. Uh, you know, we've got some other different Supermen back there, and actually, looks like one that fell over. It looks like you can't even see him, but Re Rebirth Superman is kind of taking a bit of a nap, so I'll have to fix that later. That's good. Uh, over here, we've got some Batman-related characters. So we've got like our main Bat family here, with some of the the newer multiverse figures sort of put in there, like. Batwoman and, and spoiler and then as you can see I've got some of the most recent ones like the Gaslight uh, Batman uh, Which actually when you say it like that it kind of makes it sound bad, but uh, beyond and all other you know versions of Batman Also another figure that's not technically part of the Mattel line is that Damian Wayne Robin that is from the uh, What is that line called? Icons was that the DC icons? Yeah, the DC icons two-pack with Superboy which we'll get to Superboy in a moment there, but pretty cool. You know, Batman, Superman, they're important characters, so it's good to have them represented. Uh, down here, we've got uh, two of my favorite characters that really coincide with each other, and they don't anymore, but I wish they did, and that is Nightwing and Deathstroke. So here's my Deathstroke collection of figures. Got a lot of different versions of Slade Wilson. If you check out my channel, I've got a video showing off all these figures and kind of me going into detail of why I like them and all that stuff, so I would recommend you check that out. A lot of cool stuff. And then over here, we've got the Nightwing slash Dick Grayson. You know, there's there's technically some, there's there's one <laughs> that's just Dick Grayson and not Nightwing. But either way, uh, it's, a, it's a cool selection of figures. We've got that, like, retro style one back there and uh, all a bunch of, bunch of other cool figures included. And then, yeah, we've got the, the Missions Robin figure right there. The reason I haven't done a Nightwing collection video is because my girlfriend is a huge Nightwing collector as well, but a lot of her collection is back home in Maryland because uh, she moved from Maryland to Texas, so we're still waiting on that stuff to arrive. And she's been here since June of 2017. It's uh, February of 2019, so yeah, it's, uh, as you can see, it's not exactly a quick transfer. Down here, we've got just some assortments of Mattel DC figures. So we've got some DC Universe Classics, some new DC Universe Multiverse, or DC Multiverse, I suppose, and then back to some some uh, DC Universe Classics figures. Uh, so I kind of have it split up, like there's some villain-type characters there, and then more sort of like a modern Rebirth slash Multiverse stuff, and then uh, just some older DC Universe Classics there. Uh, I quite like this Superman. <laughs> Sorry, well, I guess he is Superman. Yeah, I'm not wrong. Uh, Lex Luthor. Superman figure. I think that looks really cool. So I, uh, I yeah, it's, it's a nice figure to have. I'm glad I have it. And then the last little tier of this shelf is just a random assortment of DC figures. Just stuff that I have that can't really go on the other shelves. So you've got some icons figures and, and various like some movie stuff and animated stuff and some some figures from uh, the 1997 Batman and Robin toy line. We've got the Doomsday Superman 2-pack. We've got my selection of Gordon figures. And then some, some other like DC Collectibles, DC Direct figures there as well. So, you know, just, just random stuff. Just random DC stuff that I can't really part with at this time. Maybe I will someday. I don't know. That's really, that's, that's it. So that's going to take a little break from the DC stuff and head over to the Marvel Universe collection. Now, the Marvel Universe stuff is really cool. I have a whole lot of Marvel Legends. It's it's ridiculous. I mean, really. Look at let me look at all these shows here. Oh my God. Look at that space. Anyways, let's get back into it here. We've got the Marvel Universe essentially up top. So we've got characters like the Guardians of the Galaxy here. You know your usual folk. 
mixed in with other space characters. So we've got the Fantastic Four right here along with the Silver Surfer. He's surfing along, going through space. Uh, Moon Nut, classic Moon Nut, always nutting about uh, Ghost Rider. You don't get caught up in the Ghost Rider. That's pretty cool. Good for him. He's a cool dude. Uh, we've got some... You guys hear that train? Uh, <laughs> that light at the end of the tunnel? That's not heaven. That's the sea train. Uh, so that's Daredevil. That was a little quote from the film Daredevil, for those of you who are uh, aware of the film. I know now that we have the Netflix stuff, it's like, pff, the Daredevil the movie? Who cares about that? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, more Avengers-style characters here. A lot of cool, a lot of cool people. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of nice folk. We've got Spider-Man front and center hanging in front of Captain America and, and all his, his cool pals. Uh, some other Avengers characters mixed with some like S.H.I.E.L.D. characters and other people like that, I suppose. We've got that Black Knight figure. I quite like that Black Knight, actually. He's, he's pretty cool. Uh, you know, and then we get the little modern X-Men. So you've got uh, your classic X-Men characters. You know, like uh, Magic. Magic is, you know, that movie, New Mutants, is that going to come out? I don't know. We'll never know, I guess. We'll never know until it comes out. Man, look at, look at that gang of folk. Moving down from the X-Men here, we've got the X-Men villains. You know, it's, it's a little it's a little dark in here, but you know what? They're villains, so it, it should be dark, right? That makes sense. Uh, but we've got Jugs back there, and we've got some of the other Build-A-Figures, like Apocalypse and Onslaught and the new Sabretooth. Uh, Magneto and his family. Uh, what's, this, what's this guy's name? Why am I blanking on this guy's name? Omega Red. <laughs> like, who's, this, who's this nutball? It's Omega Red, guys. Speaking of the dark, we've got the Dark Avengers here. Um, we've got uh, this Miss Marvel figure standing in for Dark Miss Marvel because they haven't made one, and they should really make one. Um, they should have made one with the new movie line, but they didn't, and so I don't even know when they're going to be able to make that. Congratulations, Hasbro. Uh, here's some pop figures. You guys like pops, right? Um, I was told recently on Twitter that I don't collect pops, which is true. But I do have a select few of Pops. So like four of these Pops are mine. That one's not mine technically. That's my girlfriend's. But these four, these are these are mine. So I'm a big Thanos guy. I love Thanos. Uh, I like Korg quite a bit from Ragnarok, so I had to get one of him. And then, you know, Charles and Eric. This uh, good 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 group of guys. <laughs> They're Marvel ones, so they, they bobble. Setting up brain waves. Uh, here we have the X-Men. Everybody loves the X-Men, right? So this is, you know, we saw the modern X-Men up here. This is more of the classic sort of 90s, 80s era of X-Men. So we've got like brown suit Wolverine and the Jim Lee Cyclops and Nightcrawler. And we've got some X-Force characters in there with Cable and Shatterstar and Deadpool. Uh, not a big fan of Deadpool. This is the only Deadpool figure I own. But, you know, it's, he's a good figure. Back there, you can barely see him. It's, it's... Maybe he's in the New Mutants movie. Once again, we'll never know because the movie's not coming out. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get comments like, it's coming out. Like, uh-huh, sure it is. Um, which is a shame because I do want to see it, but it's, it's just not going not gonna to happen probably. Uh, Archangel, it's the old Archangel. I know the new Archangel, everybody loves it, but like, I have this one. I don't really need another one. Unless this one broke, I really don't need to buy the new one. Uh, some other X-Men characters. Bishop, he's here to save the future. Good for him, dude. He's a very noble, noble man. I uh, already looked at the Pops. Uh, here's some villain characters, mainly like Hydra slash Captain America characters. So we've got the main red man himself, Red Skull. Uh, there's that new Artem Zola that's coming out that looks really cool, but I have this one, so I don't really need a new one. That being said, as you'll see in a bit, I do collect Captain America figures, so I'm going to have to get that Captain America. That's Rock Zilipa. There's some Hydragoons, uh, the Baron of Zemos, and this Taskmaster, which is my favorite of the two Taskmasters, but I do have both. Speaking of which, up top we've got more villains here, a uh, good group of gang, 
good group of gang. What is, Anthony, you mind telling me what that means? Um, I, I, actually, I can't tell you what that means because I don't know what that means. Uh, Bullseye and Ironmonger and the Doom and Claw. There's the other Taskmaster I was telling you about. Uh, this purple man has the bag, like the little satchel bag of the Hobgoblin figure. I put him on him because I thought it just looked good. He kind of looks like, I say it every time, but he looks like a college professor. And I like that. Nice purple college professor. Uh, the Abomination back there. Good for good for Abomination. Get some screen time. Remember him? Remember the Abomination in the Incredible Hulk movie? Where he at? Oh, well. <laughs> it doesn't matter, does it? Uh, let's move over here. Um, this is kind of different. We've got some Oni Plays art by Brandon Turner. Um, this was officially uh, a piece of Oni Plays merch. And my girlfriend is a big fan. I'm a big fan as well, but she loves the Oni Plays boys. Jing Jong and Julian and, and Chris O'Neill. So uh, we bought that, and it looks nice. <laughs> We've got some Cobra Commander-related merch here. We've got some figures that I like. We've got some, some like old-school style ones. Not original ones, but they're based on the original ones. The Pursuit of Cobra kind of look there. The Retaliation figure, Renegades, and I guess the other Pursuit of Cobra figure. And then a pop, because why not? Um, I know you're like, the kitchen? That's not where things go, except food. Well, we got some stuff. There's like a little Captain America corner here of Captain America things, because I, I do like the Captain America. There's a big clock that don't work that my brother gave me, because he's like, I don't want this, you, you have it now. And it's like, well, that's nice, thanks. Uh, here's the fridge. It's got stuff on it. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, here's some stuff on the fridge. So we've got big old Superman. We got an Infinity Gauntlet. This was actually my Christmas present from my lovely girlfriend, so thank you to her. It's really nice. Um, there's Nightwing. It's a nice Nightwing statue. We've got a DVD signed by Kevin Conroy. We've got my Dundee. Uh, and then we have another DVD signed by Josh Keaton. So some good, good quality stuff. Uh, there's some Batman and Robin, uh, Robin merch, I guess. So that's cool. You know, not many people would have that, but I guess I do. Um, and then you've probably seen a video on this stuff. This is my vintage Power Ranger collection. So we've got some Zords and some figures, and they look really cool up there. Mainly because there's nowhere else for them to go. <laughs> um, and then there's a Mega Force Morpher and a little Red Ranger figure. I, I just, I own that. That's cool. <laughs> All right, we're done with the kitchen. Let's get out of here. This video is going to be long, people. I hope you're ready. Uh, we're, we're nearly 20 minutes in, and we haven't even gone to the bedroom, but here's Thanos, uh, the Thanos gang. There's a lot of different, you know, representations of Thanos, which I like. Uh, there's the Walmart one, and the Build-A-Figure, and the Select. Um, down here, we've got some Superman figures. See, we weren't done with Superman. A lot of different representations of the Man of Steel, a lot of DC collectibles, DC Direct, uh, Mattel stuff, so that's cool. Uh, down here, we've got some Star Wars characters. Uh, no real rhyme or reason. For these guys, other than they're Star Wars, and they've got lightsabers, and they look cool. I'm really happy with the pose that I got Jaina Solo in. I think she looks awesome like that. Down below, we've got uh, some Batman figures, kind of mirroring the Superman look up ahead. And then we've got some Metroid representation, because Metroids and Samus is some of my favorite things from video games. Uh, we've got some art. Here's the... Uh, the lithograph I got whenever I was at the premiere, or I guess, release of Doomsday Clock issue one. You guys remember Doomsday Clock? That came out in November 2017. What year is it now? Uh, 2019, and it's not even at issue nine yet? Yeah, great stuff, guys. Uh, here's the uh, lithograph for Green Lantern, the Liam Sharp, I believe, uh, issue number one of the Grant Morrison run. I got that because it was free, and I framed it, so it kind of, you know, has a nice sort of look there. What's down here? Uh, some random pops, looks like, and uh, some Lego Star Wars. Okay, cool, I guess. That's kind of weird. Um, here's our table. Uh, we don't have dinner at the table. We just sort of have it here to put some stuff on, um, including extra toys. So there's some comics I've been reading. So if you guys want to know what comics I read, there, that there's some, and there's there's a there's an action comics right there. I've been reading some stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, here's some some various little 
figures and things. So, I mean, you can kind of look there and go, oh, look at that. So that's, that's something. Uh, we got that Thanos lunchbox from, as you can see, Fan Expo. That was at the Dallas Fan Expo from last year, 2018, was it? Yeah, that sounds about, that sounds right, yeah. Uh, this is a Voltron. This is, is this is Play, Playmates Voltron? Classic Voltron, the 1984 styling. Um, this, I believe, came out last year. This was my Christmas present to my girlfriend because she's a big Voltron fan. And, uh, we, you know, it's, it's cool to have. And then across from, from the Voltron is a big old Sentinel. Uh, this was on sale on Amazon, so I, I felt like I needed to get it. Uh, uh, Sentinel, what do, you, what do you got to say to the crowd? Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Uh, so that's a nice little, nice little thing on the table there. Let's move over to my girlfriend's workspace. Uh, luckily, there's nothing on the screens, because uh, if there was anything, it'd be a HIPAA violation, whatever that means. Uh, you guys know what a HIPAA violation is? Tell me down in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, but here's a lot of things that she likes. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of Jurassic Pops, uh, all sorts of fun, kooky characters, like uh, old man and glasses and hats, and so that's cool. Uh, we've got some of the figures, which we'll see more of. Uh, good old Ian Malcolm, and uh, that's, that's, that's great. Uh, some wrestling stuff, some uh, anime, I guess, and there's a little Kirby, and some Captain America, and Star Wars, and you know, and then there's more Star Wars, more Star Wars. More Star Wars. Uh, yeah, cool, good for, good for her. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, there's more stuff down here. She's got a a picture signed by Val Kilmer. Uh, the, that was a recent Valentine's Day gift that I got her. Uh, a, a dinosaur. It's a Jurassic Park figure, you know. Um, I believe it's from Jurassic Park. Is it, is it a Lost World dinosaur? Is that what that is, Ray? Yes. Okay. Uh, and Sleeping Beauty, Aurora. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Let's go ahead and scoot on by here. And oh my god, there's another shelf of Marvel Legends, Anthony? Yes, there is. I know, right? So we've got this gang up here. It's the uh, good old MC Universe, as you guys know. It's a, it's a good group of folks, I suppose. Um, you know, it's just, it, it, Infinity War was a blast. Uh, let's, hope, uh, let's hope it continues to be good. We've got the Guardians characters here. Um, I would like to get an updated Rocket Raccoon, but it, for me, when it's like I have a technical representation, it's kind of hard to justify buying a new one unless it's, like, obviously better. And especially when the figure's, like, so small and you have to pay full price, it's, it's kind of hard. Uh, but a lot of cool characters. I did have, uh, got Captain Marvel here. She's there, so. Okay. Uh, there's the Marvel Knights, I guess, Netflix characters. Still need Luke Cage and some of the other ones from like the box set, but I'm not gonna rush out to get those. Uh, there's some Shield guys and uh, yeah, there's the Avengers and and such. Now moving down is my Captain America collection. This is uh, my goal is to own every Marvel Legends release of Captain America, and I'm getting there. I don't have everyone yet, but I will. That's the kind of the, that's the end game here. Captain America end game. That's a get it. <laughs> so we got a lot of like movie related figures and uh, a lot of just different iterations of Steve Rogers. That should be the main thing. It's a Steve Rogers collection. Obviously, if I collected every Captain America, I'd have other characters here, but this is a Steve Rogers Captain America sort of that group. There's some good ones in here. A lot of a lot of cool figures. Uh moving down, I uh, hope you guys aren't afraid of spiders cuz uh here we are. It's the uh, this amazing Spider-Verse, as you could call it. A lot of different figures in here I like. Um, a lot of like, movie characters and other characters and clones and all sorts of stuff. It's funny, before Spider-Verse, the film, I was not a fan of Spider-Gwen, like, at all. Uh, but now, because of the movie, it made me like her and I feel like I have to get a figure of her at some point. So, that's cool. Um, but, you know, for all the good Spider-Man heroes, we need good Spider-Man villains. So we've got our huge group of Spider-Man villains. Now, guys, let me let me ask you a question. How do you display your Doc Ock? Because for me, he takes up a lot of room. It's not easy to get, like, a good-looking display out of him. And I feel like I could use some pointers. So let me know if you, if you have any 
tips and tricks. Uh, there's a Sandman and a Vulture back there. That's cool. Good for them. Uh, so that's, uh, you know, that's them, I guess. Moving down, we've got uh, two of the girlfriends' shelves. She's a big fan of Black Widow and the Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes. So uh, we've got some Black Widow figures here. She's got a lot of different figures of Nat. And then we've also got some Pops and some, some Winter Soldier, Bucky stuff, which is, which is cool. A lot of cool stuff. Uh, nice, nice pose for Black Widow here. Uh, yeah, that's, that's great. Uh, down below, we've got more uh, murderous killers. We've got the Wolverine shelf. So we've got a collection of Laura Kinney X-23. And, of course, uh, Logan, James Howlett, if you will, uh, Wolverine. Uh, yeah, it's cool. A lot of different Marvel Legends figures. Uh, it's, it's nice anytime I get a Wolverine figure, it just goes to her. Because it's her collection, and uh, as you as we heard earlier, she was reading some Wolverine comics, so that's that's great, good for her. Uh, down here we have just like miscellaneous stuff. Uh, this is gonna go over 30 minutes, guys. So I hope you packed a lunch. Um, we've got just different characters, different different people. And, uh, you know, I added some fun. You know, Ant Man's got a cowboy hat because that's that's pretty cool. You know what? I must admit, this is epic. Uh, we've got Daredevil in a uh, the the hoodie jacket that Kurt Angle came with. Um, just other characters and things. That's that's all it really is. Look at this little J. Jonah Jameson. They should make a new J. Jonah Jameson figure. You know that Writers series, the Marvel Legends Writers series, how they've got like Ghost Rider, and then they've got like Professor X coming out, and like they should do that for him, but he comes with like his desk from the Bugle. That's what they should do. Anyways, there's a look at some of that collection. Let's uh, let's follow up on Ray. What are you reading now? Uh, the Punisher. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Great. All right, let's move over <laughs> over here. Uh, as you can see, we've got this Star Wars in the little entryway kind of hallway thing. You can see me in the reflection, so that's that's pretty cool. I mean, if you, if you think. And here we have the bedroom. Whoa, it's a bedroom. You can tell because of, of the bed. <laughs> okay. Good good comedy, Anthony. I like the way you tell jokes. Uh, so there's some, some Marvel Legends up there, hanging up on the wall. As you can previously see, you know, established that I'm a Captain America fan and she's a Black Widow fan. So it's nice to have those just there. Uh, we've got some Ninja Turtles figures here. And I mean, I know these aren't like the original. There's no, like, monetary value in having them packaged, but... I like the way they look. These were, God, I don't know when these come out. 2014, maybe? Someone will correct me. But they look cool. You got the four turtles and then uh, Bebop and Rocksteady. Uh, right here is actually where the reviews happen. So I have a big light, which is actually like right there. Um, and I shoot the videos right here. So there's a little behind the scenes movie magic for you guys. I put my tripod on that box. And I film, and it's it's good. All right, moving on to the bookshelf over here. Um, this is this is kind of it. This is the big, the big epic piece. We have my my Green Lantern figure collection. Uh, for those of you who may not know, but I feel like you should know by now, I am a massive fan of Hal Jordan. He's my favorite fictional character, so I like to have as much Hal Jordan represented as possible. Um, and I think I've got that down pat. I mean, obviously, there are so many figures I don't have. Like, that's just that, that's just how it is. Like, I can't really do much about that at this time. But, I mean, this is, this is pretty good for what it is, I will say. I think this looks great. So, I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, really. I think it looks awesome. What do you guys think? You agree? You disagree? Tell me down in the comments below. What do you say? Anyways, <laughs> here's my uh, girlfriend's Harley Quinn shelf. Um, it's a little bare because once again, she has uh, moved here from a different place and a lot of her Harley Quinn stuff just hasn't been shipped. But for now, you know, she's got some statues and some figures and other stuff. So eventually that'll get filled out a bit more. Uh, now, oh Godness, oh Godness. <laughs> We've got some Jurassic Park figures. Um, yeah, so my girlfriend, as you know, she loves Jurassic Park. She loves it. And so when Mattel got the license and really started pumping out these toys, 
she dove right in. Essentially, if there is a dinosaur that she doesn't have, she buys it. And uh, she doesn't buy the sort of, like, um, dino, like, damage ones with, like, the scars and stuff like that. She doesn't, she's not into those, but she does have a nice collection of, you know, dinosaurs from both the Park series and the World series. So that's kind of how she has it split up here is, is Park dinosaurs and then World uh, dinosaurs. Of course, we've got the Jeep there. She has her copy of uh, Jurassic Park signed by Mr. Goldblum. Uh, so that was a nice little event for her. Um, and then, yeah, just more more dinos. More dinos galore. That's nice. So many dinos. Uh, yeah, so there's that. Moving on to the desk area. We've got uh, my coffee from this morning and a water bottle just for, just in case, you know, I don't want to wet my whistle. Um, so this is, as you guys saw the previous video, my Hot Toys Anakin Skywalker, if it would just, if it would focus on him. My god, is he lovely. Uh, we've got an assortment of random sort of weird Star Wars figures. Um, these are just ones that I like. Um, I have no rhyme or reason for collecting them. I just, I have like a little assortment of silly Star Wars figures. Like this figure. This figure I had no idea existed. This is from Power of the Jedi, um... This is from, like, an, a concept series of, like, Snow Obi-Wan. I don't know, but it looks cool. <laughs> some random stuff down here. Uh, up top, we've got some uh, other other things. We've got Kurt Angle. We've got uh, Solo. A Solo Solo. Uh, Seth Rollins, Money in the Bank winner, Seth Rollins. And then uh, we've got some figures in packaging. So we've got uh, just just different different stuff that I own. Oh goodness, it's bright. But uh, yeah, these are just you know characters. Some of them are signed, like that Daredevil signed by Charlie Cox. This Harley Quinn and Raven are signed by Tara Strong. Uh, just different figures that I have in box that I think look good in box. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I don't I don't, I don't know nothing nothing really but that. Uh, my desk here, as you can see, it's going through some wallpapers. Uh, I've got some figures on that desk. Not really much to say about that. Um, I guess a quick look, which we didn't do last time, is the closet. So we've got like a bunch of plushes and whatnot back here. Uh, girlfriend's a big fan of the Kirby, so there's, there's quite a bit of Kirby representation. But like, that Wario is mine, so that's good. <laughs> so there's, there's that. Um, there's really nothing else in there, that's just, that's all I wanted to show you. All right, we're going to be wrapping it up here. We've got some Green Lantern comics that I've got over here. That's pretty cool, right? Um, I have these two figures. This is uh, NXT TakeOver figures, Asuka and uh, Seth Rollins. Uh, Seth Rollins is probably my favorite modern wrestler, um, I would say. You know, I, I mentioned earlier how Sheamus was one of my favorites when I started watching. And I have a lot of favorites. You know, I'm a big fan of Cody Rhodes. Uh, I'm a big fan of people like, uh, why am I blanking now, uh, <laughs> Kurt Angle, um, Seth Rollins is one of my all-time favorites as well, so, so there, he gets a lot of figure attention in this house. Uh, speaking of which, here are the uh, covers for Boom Studios uh, WWE comic that they did, and you know, they kind of all make an image together of the shield, so that's cool. And then the last bit of toys we've got is the Transformers. Um, so this is my Starscream collection. I'm a big fan of Starscream, and I got a lot of different iterations of the robot known as Starscream. A uh, fun fact about this animated Starscream here is that uh, he's got a little bit of a, a tattoo, but it's not a tattoo. It's a signature from the voice actor Tom Kenny. You may have heard of Tom Kenny. He voices that uh, SpongeBob guy who got screwed at the uh, Super Bowl. Classic sort of Montreal screw job, but for SpongeBob, so that's cool. SpongeBob screw job, S screw job square pants. Anyways, here's some Transformers, guys. Uh, there's some Autobots and De Decepticons. Um, I have a lot more Autobots just because for the longest time that's all I was collecting, and then I, I moved to actually just accepting the fact that I should buy more stuff and get that. You can barely see Wing Blade. You can't really see Wing Blade. Um, but yeah, just Transformers. There's a lot of Transformers. Bet you can't name them all. Bet you didn't know that that was uh, Wind Charger, did you? Now you do. Good job. Uh, then down here, Decepticons. Just random Decepticons that I can get my hands on. 
You know, I'm, I'm kind of hesitant of collecting Siege figures, mainly because they aesthetically look a little different from what I'm currently collecting, and all the battle damage kind of wear and tear is a cool concept, and I think works fine on its own, but I don't know if it'll meld well with what I've got going on. Uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, I guess there's hats here. A lot of, a lot of hats. And, uh, oh, and a, a new fan. Yeah, we got a new fan, because the old one wasn't working. Uh, they came in and replaced it, so good for them. All right, guys, that's that's it. Uh, that's the the collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this this video. Um, look at all my my toys and whatnot. It's just kind of me. I don't know. I guess it's bragging, but I yeah. I know I like to watch collection videos and see what people's displays look like. So I figured you might too. I don't know what you like. Uh, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. All that YouTube jargon, as I always say. Um, if you guys wanted to see videos on like specific figures in my collection or me elaborate a bit more, let me know. Um, share it around if you want. And of course, enjoy this weekend's Toy Fair. It's a lot of exciting stuff. I'm excited. I'm loving it. It's not a, it's not a promotion for McDonald's. All right. See you guys later. Let's end on a figure. Who should we end on? Who deserves the ending spot? Who deserves it? You know what? Sentinel, do you have anything? Sentinel power core breach. Oh no.